Alright, here we go. Fifteen. Forty seven. Fifty six. One oh two, one oh three, one oh four, one oh six, one oh seven, one oh eight, one oh nine. One twenty. One twenty eight. Nine. One thirty. One. One thirty two. Thirty three. One thirty four. Get them. Go live on. Live and action right now. All right. Basically, all the way around to the. We were going to go all the way. Dribble. Dropping my wrist down. My wrist goes down, my elbow goes back. So when I get here, I'm just gonna come a little bit higher. Just gonna be straight. Just gonna be straight. Everything straight. Then yeah, I'm going higher. Dropping that wrist down, got the elbow back, keeping my shoulders square, my hips are square. Boom, then I'm showing over. Low medium high, low medium high. You gotta stop. In between, stop and rest. That's a long way to go. Okay, everybody wants. Come on, Kyle. You're probably gonna have to stop at some point and recover. I promise. All right, after this whistle, one whistle goes, you're on your own. All right, set. Go. Just one whistle. One okay. Just making sure everything, your hips are straight, your shoulders are straight. When you drop your wrist, your elbow comes comes back. Wrist goes down first. No matter if you're doing small, medium, or high. Everything should be square. It should feel robotic, what I call it. Just gently picking them up, picking your heels into your glutes, into, I mean to your hams. Drop the wrist down, Charlie. You know, it's our, our arms are what we got to fix. We know you can roll, but arms are what we got to fix. Remember on this drill, if you have to stop, recover, stop and recover, because I'd rather for you do it correct than incorrect. I'd rather for you do it correct than incorrect. <clears throat> because we're going to get in y'all hips. Even you and uh, Lucas there, we'll get in y'all hips next for college and some track. So. 
Y'all get some lateral movement. Hey, did you, you bring your cleats? What? You bring your cleats? Uh. If you didn't, that's fine. We'll do it out here. No. That's fine. We'll do it out here. I know it's seen I robotics. Don't know if I'm on the right thing anymore. Huh? I said I don't know if I'm on the right thing. You don't know what you're more low, medium, high. I don't know either. Long as I'm looking at your arms, I'm looking at your form, I'm looking at your shoulders, I'm looking at your wrist. Your wrist comes down, your, your elbow goes back. It's got to come through that pocket. <clears throat> you got to be able to fire those hips. Each time your heel should come into your hamstring. You're making what those fours, right, Callie? It's a lot of fours in this one drill. Just imagine, Callie, you got this twice, they don't. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, but they got a lot. They got a lot of hip stuff to do on the same cones. They got football stuff. Football drills. Lucas, I'm gonna make sure I take my time to do it right. Back there. Let me back up a little bit faster. Y'all can move. Because <clears throat> I want everything moving today, as you see. We do a lot of these just standing in one spot, but I want everybody moving today. I want everybody moving today. Today's turned out pretty good. Just trying to rain a little bit. And due to the wind, we had to pick up 100 meters of these cones. I know that's a bummer. <laughs> knees up, guys. I mean, on your knees up, but make sure your heels, heels come to, to the hamstring, not outside the hamstring. All these reps are needed, especially in a 400 and 200. As long as you're dropping that wrist, elbow comes back and knee coming up. It don't matter how high your knee coming up. You don't have to have high knee recovery all the time. Everybody say, get your knees up, get your knees up, get your knees up. It ain't all about that all the time. All about moving forward efficiently and effectively. You all right, Luke? Okay. So I got the music going. Cali, that I was watching that other Cali. I don't know if you ever pay attention to her arms, but her arms are all over the place. My she, arms are not the same. Well, yours are. Well, yours would act better, but hers is. And I'll show you. What she has is just a lot of meat under her belt. It's like anything else. If you got a lot of game film, it's different than practice film. You got a lot of meats. A lot of heats that you can get in any race and just roll out. But we're not actually racing against her, we're racing against the flop. Racing against form. Good. We're still going to go meet over there, but y'all go. Don't have a hip drill. She's gonna do. Yeah. This. She's gonna do this again. Her legs are gonna hurt. Oh, my traps. <laughs> really? <laughs> I always, I always do this. Oh, so. <laughs> Can you hurt when I do it. Well, this has to do, do like two million eight hundred forty-five reps. Of this. I like to have endurance and everything. I do. So, on the whistle. It's up to you two. Me, I get confused with where the cone is, so I switch sides. That's why I switch sides. There's no hurry, that's what it is. All right, that. Yeah, just take your time, because the next drill is going to build up from that drill.
No, you can just go on each other. Make sure your arm just I still want an L position. Still want an L position. Still want L. drop your chin down a little bit. Bend your elbows. Bend your elbows in the back. Good. That's all it is. Good. Bend the elbows in the back. Just look. Stop. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. I want you. Want your elbows bent here. Look out the swinging them like this. I want them. Yeah. Bend them. Bend them. Bend them. All right, you can go. Yeah. We going all the way. Yep. All the way. Yeah, just cross, cross and get ready to stop. Good. I need to see those heels coming all the way up in those hamstrings on your third rep. It shouldn't look the same all the way through. Okay. You got to get that work in. And one of those reps between cones, your knees should be up to your hips. Good. Fire that hip, y'all. Fire that hip. That back hip got to fire. Fire that hip. Get it over. Get it quick, quick, quick. There you go. Stepping on the string over here. Come on, up, 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 Kylie. I need to see those elbows behind you. Remember, you're conditioning for now and later. A lot of reps, guys, a lot of reps. Fire that back hip. Fire that back hip. Fire that back hip, guys. All right, we can go off. She's gone now. We can go off the whistle now. Okay. Two whistles, one whistle, each one. So y'all get ready. That make it easier. Make some explosion in that hip. Good. Explosion in that hip. All right, here we go. There we go. Good step, guys. Y'all looking good. Looking good. There we go. Looking. Move on this side of the cone. There you go.
good. Does one side feel like it's more effective than the other one? Yeah, it's going that way. Okay. I figured it was. So, you know, you put more emphasis on the, uh, the harder side or other side. My legs aren't as fluid going this way. That's why I figured you're going to be on one side, going to hamper, be more of a hamper than the other one. That's just everybody's balance. All right. I like seeing like stall out when I go this way. <laughs> Alright. I want it all on film so I can call the popo. -po. Let me make sure I got that. Cause they hit something, hit a pole, and maybe somebody be acting like, well, somebody shouldn't have put that pole there, or something. Like, no, he was clowning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> they don't care. Look, as soon as they hit a pole or something, they're going to be mad at the pole. Right. Those are kids in that, in that driver's seat. Yeah, okay. All right. No, oh, y'all don't drive like that. No, I do. Don't worry. Yeah, I do that in my truck. <laughs> Callie don't drive like that either. You run like that, though. No, you don't run that crazy. All right, two whistles, one whistle. I need you rolling. I need you rolling, need you rolling. Good. Come on, push it, push it, push it. You gotta roll in practice and roll in meets. You gotta roll in practice to roll in meets. Come on, take it through the line, take it through the line. We gotta get in shape, gotta be in shape, gotta be in shape. All the way through the line, all the way through the line. Take it through, take it through, take it through. Good run, that's what I was looking for right there. You ready to look yet? Okay. Okay, <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean to interrupt that. All right. Take your hips over, take your hips over. Trust it, trust it, trust it, trust it. Good. Are we supposed to stop, okay. Run through. Okay. Lucas is a route runner, so you have to you have to pardon him. He's good at dropping his hip, picking up a dime off the field and go making change. Can we make another, this guy now? Yeah. Okay. You can switch 
Well, it don't matter, it don't matter about switching sides, but I relatively switch sides, go the opposite way first. All right, two whistle, one whistle. Don't be afraid to take your hips with you. Take your hips with you, take your hips with you. Take your hips with you. Kelly! We're doing a 100 next. Right there. Right there, yeah. I know, that's why I definitely, that's why I asked about cleats on this drill right here is kind of, you definitely want to take your, your, your angle and your hip and your shoulder should be in line when you drop. Drop your, if you get there and drop your butt as fast as you can and drop and come out, you'll never, you'll never slip. All right. You got to take everything with you. You gotta take everything with you. You just gotta trust it. There's gonna be places where it's slick, and there's gonna be places when you do this, guys already done dug out a trench, and they're not gonna let you move it. So you gotta tell yourself, I gotta take my hips. I gotta take my hips and put it on my ankle. I gotta take my shoulder and put it on my hips, and just drop, drop, drop. That saves you. All right? Yeah, just drop. The more the better you can drop, the less you slip. Okay. Here we go. You don't know how to drop. You can drop. <laughs> Look like you route running on that. Yeah. You shaking somebody off the line on that one. You're like, ah. Ah. <laughs> That's okay. It's no hit or miss over here. All right, two whistles, one whistle. Yeah, right there. Let's do uh, two more. Two more. All right. If your body gets too fatigued, you're gonna start risking injury. I don't want to do that. So one more. We're about at the hundred, anyways, but. I can tell through the film your body, your, your hips are going like, okay, enough is enough. All right, last one. Take everything with you, take everything with you, take everything with you. Good. Gotta fix those, gotta fix those arms. I gotta fix those arms. I need arm action, arm action, arm action. Remember that picture, still picture you was all across your body? We don't want that. We want you, even if you come up, you gotta drive the elbow down and through. I'm gonna film you from the front mostly so I can see. Well, I can see from right here. All right, run, take your mark. Sit. Fix those arms, fix those arms. There you go. There you go, snatch the elbow back. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go, that's better. That's better. Yeah. Brother, take it work.
Sit. Good. Swing them back. Good. Good. There you go. There you go. Don't let it cross in front. Don't let it cross in front. Prepare for later. Train now to prepare for later. Don't let that hand come across the body. Arms down. There you go. Arms down. Arms down. Use those arms. Drive that elbow all the way back. Don't let that hand get too high in front of you. Pull it through. Pull the hand through. Drop the elbow. Bend the elbow down. Bend the elbow down. Drop the wrist. Drop the wrist. Drop the wrist. Come on, all the way through the line. All the way through the line. Can I start from like a different leg? Yeah. Start yeah. Like... That's perfect. No matter, no. You just we just working on the first two steps being correct, making sure you're coming out, making sure you explode, make sure everything's going forward, everything but your elbows. Can I, can I like start from my linebacker posture sometimes? Uh -huh. Yeah, it don't you know it don't matter if it's two point, three point, okay. however you want to do it. This is one of the easy drills. There's no whistle, Lucas. This is on y'all, I don't want your the whistle because I want you slipping. I don't want I don't want you slipping at all. So I kind of want you to go when you get ready to go. Okay, because your body's kind of fatigued right now. You're just working on body posture, getting out, getting off, getting off the line correctly. Everything's moving forward. All things should be going behind you is your elbows. Because you want to take your hips. You always want to take your hips and your shoulders with you. Kylie, when you rest, come back on this side. We got another cone drill. Good. That's all I'm looking for. I'm looking back here. I'm looking to see, make sure your hips and your shoulders and everything's going in, in this on one line. You're not rocking back and forth. The only thing should be coming behind, behind me is not your elbows. Everything else should be going forward, not not back here. The only thing should be throwing my way is those, those elbows. Your hips and shoulders should be in the same line as you go. I Meaning you know you're gonna explode, you know you're gonna explode from your right or left. The problem with all of us is we have that imbalance. Meaning if I I'm if I'm concentrating on exploding out, then already my hips are offline if I don't come back on the other side quick. So that's what you want that's what you want to be careful of. I don't want to get off balance on my first step. I want to bring both hips. That back hip, wherever that back hip is, it's got to in line with the front hip as you explode out. It's got to be quick. Can't wait on it. Don't let it wait. Because when you settle or you, you settle and you have to settle and make a block or tackle or whatever, a route running, it's best to have both hips with you. Good. 
Now we're gonna use that form and we're gonna run. Don't stay right there. We're gonna come this way. You're gonna run through this cone. This is the, this is working on your top end of your 200 or your top end. Of four. Matter of fact, we're gonna go all the way down here instead of right there. No, just stay right there. You're gonna you're gonna run from right there. Make sure y'all guys turn those hips. Take everything with you. So you want to come to this triangle right here, but I want you running just like you were just walking. I want to see you up here. Sprint. This is like the last making those fours of your hundred or making those fours of your two hundred. You want to be tall. His legs should be straight. All right, two whistle, one whistle. Now don't stand. Do it standing up. Cause you already this is this is like the last part of your race, oh. so you won't be in a three point. All right, two whistle, one whistle. Up. Good. Walk it back. Walk it back and do it again. This is this is like this is insinuating called top end speed. Uh -huh. and when you get tall. Sometimes you can be even with somebody, but whoever can hold their hips to high and have the best, not this, here, going to win the race. That's actually how you beat this girl in that, the last race you had in Houston. Because you were tall, you stayed tall. Good job, guys. Just to the 100. Good. Remember, you're just staying real tall. Like I said, this is this is for your the last part of your 200, last part of your 100. Is to stay tall, make those fours, you, and you've been doing really good at it. We just want to make sure the elbow, the hand, the elbow comes. I mean, the, excuse me, wrist come down, elbow comes back. Separate the hand from the hip. All right, two whistles, one whistle. I need you a little bit, we're gonna do one more. I need you a little bit more, a little, little tighter instead of open. I need you standing tall. So when you press down, press back underneath your hips. It's almost feel like you're not going anywhere, but you are. You don't wanna reach out with your foot because then you're dropping your hips a little bit. One more. 
One more and everybody got that back pedal 800. Huh? No. We just, we all got a back pedal, well y'all got a back pedal 800. Can I include you? I can. I ain't scared of it. You, I, I did say that, I tried to change it before you called it, but you... 800. All right, last one. Two whistle, one whistle. They tall, snatch, snatch them up, up, up. Fire to hip, fire to hip, fire to hip. That's better, that's better, that's better. Good. And you remember, you don't have to stay in the same lane for this. You can drift the lane one around those curves because it's not a lane race. It's just getting some room to move around. I'll tell you where you're at each hundred so you'll know. That's 30 seconds. One minute. One fifteen. One twenty-three. One twenty-three. I use those arms, Kelly. One thirty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's too early in the game. 144. 150. Two minutes. 204. 205, 206, 240 250 3 minutes Three twelve. Three twenty five. Come on, Callie. Push it, push it, push it. Got to have the quad endurance. Three forty. Three fifty one. Four minutes. Four oh seven. Will he beat Nolan's time? A 
447. What? Will you be this time? It's 420. 425. 430. 32, 433, 434, 437, 438. <laughs> Come on, girl. 505 514 515 516 517 519 If you didn't have this, we'll give you one. Constantly for two laps. Oh, 540! Six minutes, come on, you got it. Six twenty two. Six thirty. Well, you can beat eight minutes. Drive those elbows back and down, hands down. Use those arms. You just got those arms hanging there. You just use them my legs. That's my legs. Six fifty. Seven minutes. Seven twelve. Seven twenty three, seven twenty four, seven twenty five, seven twenty seven. Welcome to the Elite Training Program. <laughs>